dirt is in the eye of the beholder. The Trump Soho is always a half-truth, a Trump property not in Soho. And the new report notes only a third of its units have sold and it was seized by creditors, making it neither Trump nor Soho. With me now, exclusively on the beat, is ProPublica's Jesse Eisner, one of the authors of this report. Uh, what is the most important takeaway? Well, there are two. One is that Ivanka and Donald Trump Jr. were targets of a criminal probe. We didn't know that until this report. And the two, second is that after this unusual intervention from Mark Kazowitz, the case was dropped after Cyrus Vance, the Manhattan DA, overruled his prosecutors. His prosecutors, the line prosecutors, his, the line prosecutors, supervisors, all the way up to the director of investigations, wanted to indict here, and Vance overruled them, reversed them. That's a big deal. So the people working the case thought they could feloniously indict both Trump children. They were confident about it. Now, the, no, you know, all white-collar um, cases are difficult, and uh, there were complications here, but they believed in the case, and they wanted to bring indictments. In fact, in the spring of 2012, they were escalating the case, and that's when Kazowitz came in and helped to shut it down. You say Kasowitz helped to shut it down. Your evidence shows that there was money given. You, you can't prove we don't, why they made we the decision. We don't allege, allege that. And as you said, Vance says he made the decision on the merits. What happened, we do know that in, at one point, Kasowitz becomes one of Vance's major donors. Then right ahead of the meeting, Vance returns that initial $25,000 donation. Then uh, he meets. And three months later, they, uh, Vance closes the investigation, overruling his prosecutors. A month later, Kazowitz gets back in touch with Vance's people and says, I'd like to right. donate so you, ha you have all of these linkages, and then you have That's links. That's the fact pattern. Yeah, then you have links to the Russians, reading here. Two Soviet-born businessmen, Felix yes. Sater uh, and Tefik Arif. Sater had a history of running afoul of the law in 98. He pled guilty to a counter racketeering for a $40 million securities fraud scheme. Uh, and Felix Sater it has been someone implicated in a lot of the machinations around the 2016 potential Russian meddling and potential collusion. Exactly. He's a felon. He stabbed a guy in the neck with a margarita glass stem, um, as one does in a bar fight. Uh, and w since then, he was helping to market a Trump property during the election in Russia and said to email the uh, Trump lawyer Michael Cohen and said our, we can get our boy elected here. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.